Nigeria has directed a ministerial delegation to Ghana to resolve the lingering conflict between the Nigerian traders and the authorities. So today we took to the streets of Accra to find out from some Nigerians what they expect from this dialogue. First of all, lock up shops. They didn't lock Nigeria for their shop. One. What they lock their shop is beer France. Because a lot of Yoruba men, they are there doing business, their shop is open. Also men, they are there doing business. Only Igbos, they lock their shop. So when they say Nigeria, that means it's like Yoruba is not included. Also too is not included. Only Igbos, that is beer friends, that is the people that lock their shop. So when they say government, unless the people that will come here, come and talk, put mat inside that mat, unless they say beer friends, it's not Nigerian. When they are coming here, they are coming to collect bribe and go back. We know them for a long time. Bribe, corruption started from Nigeria. The whole world knows. So they, when they come here, they are coming to collect bribe. When they collect their bribe, they go. If, hear, if they lie, they come here seven times in a day. Nothing will be solved. Honestly speaking. So these people that is coming here, I don't know. They are not coming here to do anything. They are just coming here to see Ghana Dubai. Because I saw first show it in the TV. Ghana Dubai, Ghana Dubai. When they come, they video themselves. Carry, they see, you know, they, every time you, you skid, you used to talk Ghana Nyash, Ghana Big Nyash. All of them they are coming. Where they come? Where they come here, stay like three days now. Go, we hear a lot of women that are pregnant in Ghana. So they should stop them to not come here. When they come here, including you, you are laughing. When you come here, hold your mic well. And they tell you. When they come here now, they are coming to pregnant everybody. When they're pregnant, they are. And I said, they go their way. What's good for the, that country? Just to condemn that country. Spoil their name. Green, white, green. In your life, have you seen any country that have that flag? Green, white, green. To show you say their mind, you know, it's not equal. See where they go put black for center, white for center. Now, black for supposed to be there, they're red, they're the other side. And that red here, to show you say they're very wicked and devilish. Then they come put fire. Fire for center. You know, you say every day, fire the bomb for that country. Blood shed. Blood shed. Blood Blood now everywhere. For me, I didn't expect much from them because they think, I thought that uh, they have do some meeting for here, I think last year, for them to open the shops. But they didn't do anything. So for Nigeria government to come into the country and do, do all these things, I'm not sure that they, will, that they will open it. I'm not too sure about it. I think for them making that, it's a very good idea. Because at least Ghana, uh, Nigeria has them that they are over here to them, so they are helping. And one Ghana, Ghana and Nigeria are very good. They are in very good relationship. So if that thing will go on for that relationship to take place, still be pending, I think it's a good, it's a good thing. So it's not bad. And all of us should be grateful that we, the Nigerians and the Ghanaians, we are going to be equal because one, one, one blood and one flesh. There's nobody within that that the person is, is from Europe, and then it's Africa is Africa. So all of us we are friends. So it's a very good idea. I won't blame Ghanaian. I don't I won't blame them yet. Because it was what Buari told them. They said they are, is uh, because of the prison that they broke in uh, Edo State. I know everything's like. They're just trying to frustrate we Nigerians here. You understand? So I don't know. I don't know. Because uh, Buari is is Funani, he's not Nigerian. I don't know how he become a uh, president. Well nobody voted for him. He used power to be on that seat. You understand? So we were we are just praying for him to move from that place. So that we will have freedom. It's like we are fighting for freedom. You can imagine. Nigeria is is is, is I mean is I mean is like the king of Africa. The best country in due Africa. Giant of Africa. Like it's just like we are suffering. It's not good. It's not good. Sometimes uh, you see some Nigeria, they'll be crying, shedding tears. No, shedding tears. They'll just sit down with shedding tears. Because of thinking. How can Nigeria, how can a graduate, a graduate, undergraduate, come to this country, be suffering? Eh? Doing mates, parabolating, going around. Even to eat food, uh, it's, it's difficult. It's begging. I've seen a lot of them. I've seen a lot of them. When you go to that uh, Vienna city, uh, graduate, I know them, most of them, they are graduate, but they are begging. Five city, two city, how to eat, how to feed themselves. But it's not good. It's not good. If it's like that, eh, it's a good thing, though. It's very, very, very good. 
You know, if it's if if it's gonna be like that, we are happy. We are happy. Because sometimes we are be hearing a lot of rumor. This thing, all this thing, we are be hearing a lot of rumor. You understand? They will always say it, but it doesn't happen. But if it, it I mean, it happens like this, that they are sending people, we'll be happy. I won't like to, you, we'll be happy. It's a good thing to us. We Nigerians. Well, some Nigerians are actually hopeful that this dialogue would actually be fruitful. Until next time, my name is Vicky Soa, My Nigeria TV.